Dari, good morning. Good morning. Yes, uh, well, it's like uh, we're waiting for a bit right now based on the information that we gathered from the coalition officer. So what, up, up, what update can you give us particularly about this scuffle that happened right there? Okay, yeah, let me start with uh, the fact that the uh, returning officer has um, called for, um, say, one hour uh, before we reconvene now, uh, he needs to compute and transfer uh, the, the results first. So this is exactly what happened today. 2 a.m., um, the officials here said we were going to start the collation process by 2 a.m., and it started by 2 a.m. Shortly after the uh, returning officer, Professor um, Abayomi Fashino, did his introduction and uh, the cut seas and all, uh, he was going to go straight into the business of the day. Uh, the agent of the Labour Party uh, said uh, before we go any further, he had something to say. Uh, people were wondering at first, but he said he has a petition to submit. So uh, the returning officer said, okay, if you have a petition to submit, <laughs> my JD, my job description, or my brief here doesn't allow me to get uh, to collect your petition. So you may have to go through the INEX secretariat to do that, and it would have to be after we are done collecting. If you have any questions while the EOs or the uh, the local government collection officers are doing uh, their thing or, or reading out the figures, if you have reservations, if you have questions, just put it forward so that we can treat that. So these dragged for hours the whole process the whole process uh, 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 just like you mentioned you can see this whole clip on channel television on our youtube uh, channel for almost three hours um, the labor uh, party agent actually was insisting that he must be heard um, he was he later joined by the um, pdp agent as well so while we went on while the um, electoral officers went on reading our figures if the, there was that disruption along the line, the first five to six um, um, local governments that were reeled out here were reeled out with the agent insisting that he must be heard. So that altercation, that confrontation went on and on and on until it escalated at about 5 a.m. when um, some men came into the scene and dragged, forcefully uh, dragged the, um, the agents out of um, I.O. Uh, that, that is, uh, for those who are seeing the, the little clip that we showed earlier, this background is not clear, but is there a reason um, that he wasn't heard? Uh, because the, the, the good thing a number of people would want to say is, look, maybe if you had heard him for a bit, I don't know if it was the, uh, the coalition officer just thought that it was not necessary. Okay, uh, yes, uh, that's a very good one because along the line as well, some other agents also um, came up to say, listen to him, collect the petition, and let us um, move ahead. We, you can let him submit this petition. But uh, the coalition officer insisted, just like I mentioned earlier, insisted that he doesn't have that brief. His whole job, his job here is to collect. He doesn't, it's not meant to collect petition from anyone that the agent should go through um, the, the secretariat of the uh, of um, of INEC. <laughs> the coalition officer also mentioned something which was quite um, interesting. He said it doesn't work with INEC, and the agent picked on that. He said, "You cannot tell me you don't work with INEC. You are the one presiding over this particular um, process, and you must listen to me. You must hear me out." The uh, coalition officer also insisted because he, just like I mentioned, it it uh, it was long drawn argument back and forth i needed the microphone give me the microphone let me have the microphone so at, at some point when they couldn't shut him up when they couldn't uh, uh, tell the uh, agent to sit down they went on with the process with the collision process the electoral officials are coming on seats reading out numbers he was talking at that same point so that is exactly what happened um, earlier i uh, Dari. Those who attacked the Labour Party agent, have they been identified? 
are they party agents themselves or just observers uh, at the uh, uh, INEC collation center? In, in <laughs> so the interesting thing is that in the room, uh, um, in the room right now, we even have people, uh, NDLA, party officials, journalists, security operatives. Sometimes it's hard to tell who is who, except if they're wearing their tags. Um, everything happened quite fast. Of course, on TV, we saw the dragging, but we, we were here, we saw how it happened. Um, when I say everything happened quite fast, the escalation of how he was dragged out of this uh, particular auditorium. So now we playing back the cleaves, you may now start picking faces. I, I, for me, I haven't been able to identify them. Maybe people who live here in Wary, maybe people who are from Imo, may be able to pick faces here and there, but uh, he just turned really rowdy with those men beating him up and dragging, uh, dragging him out of this auditorium bookie. Uh, lastly, Dari, um, it's uh, customary for party agents to register their grievances, um, sometimes not amid collation, maybe after collation has been done. Were there any ground rules set by this returning officer that he would not be taking any complaints uh, amid the process? He, uh, yes, I, and I think uh, he was quite emphatic about that because, again, from covering elections and being in the, uh, the collation center like this, I mean, most people are used to the fact that when the collation is on, when you have local government officials coming in, in the case of uh, state elections, um, you would have to wait probably when a local government comes, then you, do your, uh, you make your reservation um, or, or raise questions and concerns. But this particular person said he asked petition. So he had a hard copy of the petition and he said he would like to submit it. So I think, um, again, it was a bit alien to uh, the returning officer who said at this point, uh, what is here to do is to start the collation and see the process through. That is not going to have anyone disrupt the process and is not going to collect the petition from him. At some point, the wreck also stepped in and was trying to even um, uh, find a way around the situation, telling the agent to say, okay, you can approach the secretariat, drop the petition. But because of the fact that things escalated and some other party um, um, uh, members, it, it was a divided room, so to say, because uh, as the uh, Labour Party agents stood up uh, to start um, uh, asking that he must be heard, that he must have his petitions um, submitted. The PDP um, uh, agent also stood by him and other, and other party agents. And there are other people in the room saying, you cannot insist that your petition must be collected before the process starts, that we must go through with the process. If you have concerns, questions, raise it along the line. And that is the, uh, the, the, the ground rule, according to the agents and also the returning officer, Buki. Indeed, Dari, we have some time just before um, you know, the uh, collation center reconvenes for the formal announcement of results. We hope that the uh, returning officer will address um, you know, this, uh, specifically the scuffle between the Labour Party agents and the unidentified persons who attacked him. Uh, very many thanks, Dari. Uh, stay safe as you bring us updates.